So if you're just tuning in, thanks. Welcome to my channel. You may or may not have seen all of the letters I just did. Just did all the alphabet in a somewhat time-lapse fashion. About to switch it up. We're gonna get we're gonna start getting into spray paint, but I've been having this sketch for many, many months and I want to finish it up. It actually says sketching. So we're gonna do this, maybe time lapse, maybe a little up close detailed stuff. But let's get on with this word and we'll see how it turns out. So we got the rough shadow in, the rough fill in. And we're gonna come back and clean up some of the black. And then we're gonna work on a simple background. So I'm doing a little bit of back and forth with the uh, time lapse. So you guys can see what's happening without wasting a lot of time. So now I come back and I clean up all my lines that I don't like or uh, lines that just got away from me. I add depth, so I may add like a little bit of a shadow right there on that portion of the H. Same thing right here. Maybe a dot. Thicken up my outline a little bit, however I want. wherever I want. Another dot. It's no rhyme or reason. It's kind of just whatever whatever you guys feel like improving on. This was just a fun word I did many months ago. I probably started this sketch three months ago or did this sketch three months ago on with a pencil. And I mentioned it in one of my videos. I was like, yeah, we're gonna finish this thing and just never got around to doing it. So it's been floating around on my table for the longest. And now it's about time for me to get it done before we get into spray paint. Cause I don't really wanna come back to paper if I don't have to, but it's always good to get on your fundamentals. Fundamentals, pencil, pen, lines, shadows, stupid stuff that you should be practicing on a regular basis. When I do, a, when I, uh, when I practice, I guess it depends on what I'm practicing for. Um, sometimes I'll go through multiple pieces of paper because my letters don't come out right. I can't get things looking good. And then other times it's like one and done. Like it comes out so good, almost as if I didn't even need practice. It's real rare. So I'm just cleaning things up. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Yours doesn't have to be perfect. I just save everything in, in a, a little folder so I can come back and look at stuff in the future. Like, oh, that's what I was doing at that, at that point in my life. I sucked. <laughs> right. I think
think that's why <clears throat> a lot of my friends are tattoo artists. And I've never gotten a tattoo because I know how art works. That if I go to a tattoo artist, it's good in the moment. But if that tattoo artist sticks in the game long enough, he's going to be amazing. So I'll just be getting his uh, his practice stuff in. That's how all artists are, man. We're our biggest critic. It's like, oh, I could have done better. I could have improved on this. I should have done that line differently. Um, you know. What it is, what it is, what it is. All right, enough wasting time. I'm gonna get back on the time lapse. up this letter or this word and you guys have been watching the time lapse thus far it's not perfect by any means however I like it the style itself is real grimy um, the good thing about style like this is it's very forgiving you guys probably saw me do a similar style on the letter R I like styles like this, man. You can get away with messing up and no one would ever know but you, right? Like, no one's gonna know you messed up because the letter is so unproportioned and out of character and is nasty. It's it's pretty ideal. Uh, I could, I guess I could add a white highlight on this. Uh, I mean, we're going too far at that point. If this, if this were spray paint, I would probably dust a white highlight, not a hard line. This is a lower light, so I added a black lower light. You guys saw me do that. A highlight would be something that's on the top of the letter. But if this were spray paint, I would kind of do a soft one just to kind of soften things up. Um, give it more of a, a contour, like where, it's, where the round parts are, like the C, the T, the E, the S, stuff like that. But uh, overall, it's kind of good. Um, do some carmine red in the shadow. Simple blue background. I was hoping this green would act as a darker blue, but it didn't, but you get the idea. I was trying to give the illusion that the, that, that little portion is offset of the blue. Overall, I kind of like it. it. Came out pretty good. So this is the word sketching and I'm, I'm gonna say that's a wrap. Uh, it's gonna be a grade. Sketching. Uh, we'll, give it a, we'll give it a solid B. B plus. Just because it's not perfect. And I, I did mess up in some cases. 
So let's be realistic, man. Like if you're gonna start painting, don't always think you're gonna be badass or the best. Sometimes you're gonna fucking suck. But all right, see you on the next one.